A very inspiring and unique play reading took place at the Palatial Armenian Cultural Foundation at 441 Mystic Street on Sunday, June the 2nd. It's called The Four Mrs. Hemingways, and it was written by playwright Robert Pushkar. And it played to a packed audience. There's a theme for today, a packed audience at the John P. Myrak Hall. Take a look. He had nicknames for everyone, didn't he? Mine was Kitten. It was a packed house inside the John P. Myrak Hall at the Armenian Cultural Foundation on Sunday, June the 2nd, for a performance reading of the new play, The Four Mrs. Hemingways, by playwright Robert Pushkar. This play reveals the four extraordinary people, the wives of Ernest Hemingway, who gave their love to arguably the greatest American author of the 20th century and larger-than-life character. Most people that I talk to do not know that he had four wives over uh, 40 years. And so in this age of empowerment of women, I thought that uh, a play about his wives would, would be very uh, appealing to today's marketplace. So much of our lives. Women cannot surrender their identities just because they say I do. This performance reading also featured the character of iconic singer-actor Marlene Dietrich, a great friend to Ernest Hemingway throughout the decades, a mysterious trunk that plays an integral role, and some historic facts that many people may not know about these fascinating women who were fiercely independent in their own way. The director, Steve Bogart, has really put together theatrical flourishes in this. So the whole afternoon is going to be an exercise in edutainment. The audience is going to learn, but at the same time, they're going to be thoroughly entertained. I play Martha Gellhorn in The Four Mrs. Hemingways. She's okay. the third Mrs. Hemingway. She was unpossessable, which is uh, Robert's word I thought was really apt for describing her. Yeah, she's a rarity, or I, I find her to be a rarity, I think, and was probably the thing that drew Ernest Hemingway to her in the first place. I mean, there are many reasons why I am particularly drawn to her of his wives. My God, I do think that they, they tried to make it work. <laughs> They're both hot personalities, though, yeah. and hot with hot, you know, big with big, um, I think can only last so long before they kind of sort of attempt to kind of eat each other alive, basically. But it makes for such a great play. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. And it plays out in a really uh, cool way in the play that I, um, that I won't spoil, but... Mm. <laughs> What Robert did was wrote, write a play where the women are, are meeting each other in a kind of a dream space after life. And so it's magic realism. And so we can go anywhere with the play, which is putting it in that kind of imaginary space allowed Robert to go anywhere he wanted with this play. And one of the challenges was for him also was um, to let the characters talk to each other in these new circumstances and not always worry about is it actually uh, real what they're talking about. Sometimes it is and sometimes, I mean real in terms of who they were uh, when they were alive. Seems to me as though this play can be going places. What, what, are, you, uh, what are you looking forward to in the future? <laughs> well, I'm very confident and I have a very fine producer and uh, we, we are uh, going to uh, uh, hopefully produce a commercial product that has audience appeal and uh, we have now the script in various places people are, are considering it uh, for uh, future production. For more information on the four Mrs. Hemingways just go to this website HarborsideFilmsBoston.com. Again, that's HarborsideFilmsBoston.com. <laughs>